What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on my video. I hope everybody's doing good out there. So we're going to be checking out the Hatsan Factor and more specifically the Hatsan Factor RC. The RC is the regulated version of the Hatsan Factor. The Factor is also available in the FDE version if you're looking for a two-tone. The standard Hatsan Factor has a 500cc aluminum bottle while the Hatsan Factor RC that we're going to be looking at today you get a 580cc carbon fiber bottle and an externally adjustable regulator. All the hat sand factors also come with a adjustable hammer spring tension dial on the back. An adjustable transfer port with high, medium, and low. So numerous ways to adjust your gun. Some notable differences in the regulated version and the non-regulated version are the power and the shot count. The non-regulated version is going to have a lot more power and literally three times the shot count. But of course, if you choose the RC, you're going to have a regulator with super consistent shots and the best accuracy possible. So I'm really excited to shoot this gun. I can't wait to see what a regulated hat sand is going to do. You guys may or may not know, I buy all the guns with my own money on the Air Gun channel, except maybe 5%. Every once in a while, someone will send me a gun for free. But uh, anyway, this is another hat sand that I just purchased with my own money, so you guys could check it out. All right, you guys, here's the uh, differences in the shot count and power between the RC and the standard factor. So for power on the regulated RC hat sand factor, 177 calibers is going to give you 140 shots at 20 foot-pounds. It's basically pushing a 177 caliber pellet 1,000 feet per second. In 22 caliber, you're going to get 130 shots at 30 foot-pounds, pushing a 22 caliber 950 feet per second. 25 caliber, you're going to get 120 shots per fill, 34 foot-pounds, pushing a 25 caliber pellet 870 feet per second. Now, when you go to the standard hat sand factor, you get a significant jump in power and shot count. Check this out. 177 caliber standard factor, non-regulated. All right, you guys, when I originally recorded this segment, I got the number of shots per fill and the number of shots at optimal velocity on this standard hat sand factor mixed up. So it actually looks like you are going to get more power with this gun, but you'll get a little bit fewer shots at optimal velocity. So here's the stats on the standard factor. In 177 caliber, you're going to be getting 27 foot-pounds and 105 shots per fill. Sending a 177 caliber downrange at 1,170 feet per second. That means you can shoot heavy ammo, no problem. 22 caliber, you're going to get 38 foot pounds, 100 shots per fill, sending out 22 caliber at 1,070 feet per second. 25 caliber, unregulated, you're going to get the 42 foot pounds of energy, 90 shots per fill, sending that 25 cal at 970 feet per second. Very nice. These both have a 250 bar fill. So that right there is the only difference between the two. And the carbon fiber bottle you get on the RC, and that's about it. So the rest of these stats are exactly the same on both guns, you guys. It's going to be a 250 bar fill. Telescoping scop. Telescop. Telescoping stock. Adjustable cheeks piece. Adjustable. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, 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 Adjustable cheek rest, 40 inches overall when the stock is shortened, with the stock extended, we're looking at 43 inches, 23 inch barrel, it weighs 7.9 pounds. The shot capacity in 177 caliber is going to be 24 rounds, 21 rounds in 22 caliber, and 19 rounds in 25 caliber. As well, it uses the same magazine as a hat sand blitz. If you guys want to see something that you've never seen before, Definitely check out the Hat Sam Blitz review. So you guys already saw this clip, but this was actually the very next magazine that I ran through the gun after I cleaned it. Here's some selling points that Hat Sam has on their website. I'm just going to read them off in case I missed anything. It says the RC version we're looking at today has a pressure adjustable regulator and carbon fiber air bottle. 3 power adjustable transfer port, externally adjustable hammer preload, 
That's the dial on the back. Basically a hammer spring tension adjuster. It says it has an externally adjustable regulator. So I guess the transfer port adjustment and the externally adjustable regulator is two different things. Additional air gauge to monitor the regulator pressure, which incidentally you guys is set at 140. Fully shredded barrel, blah, blah, blah. One half UNF threaded muzzle. Okay, so that you can add your LDC on that. Precision rifle and choked barrel for accuracy. Foster quick disconnect male fitting on the rifle and a female quick disconnect nozzle is included in the box. So no fill probe required, that's great. Soft rubber pistol grip. Aluminum frame with integrated dual rail so you can do uh, 11 millimeter or 22 millimeter scope rings. Additional Picatinny rail beneath the forearm for your bipod or foregrip or laser. Aluminum trigger guard and black metal trigger. It has the two-stage adjustable match grade quattro trigger on it. Looks like it has vertical and horizontal trigger shoe adjustment. Anti-knock system. Prevents discharge when the rifle is knocked or bounced. Manual safety and a hard case is included. Very nice. The hats and factor and factor RC are pretty hard to get right now. But I saw the hats and factor selling for around $650 with the RC version selling for around $1,000. Might cost you a little more if you can find one in the U.S. This gun, at least for right now, I think is mostly for non-U.S. customers. Fun fact, 60% of the people that watch my videos are outside of the U.S.A. So, it's kind of funny. Here's your normal hat sand case. The way you open a hat sand case is you go to one side and then you push the two things together. Now, guns always come with cases, the hat sands, but this is what you get, and, you know, it's nice to have a case, but your scope's not going to fit in there. In addition, if you try to ship a gun in a case like this, it's just going to slam back and forth the entire journey, and, you know, if it's a $400 hat sand, it'd probably be fine. This is not even foam either. It's like space age. It's like rubber. It's like, uh, I don't know, like what you'd see on a hot tub kind of. That's all I can think of right now, but you got room for your scope. It comes with one of those, which I love. Really handy to have these around. Instruction manual and good old 5.5 five bag of goodies right there. Even got room for a another scope or your giant LDC right there. Pellets there and pellets there. So look at this case you guys, that is awesome. Super big in that. Alright you guys, I did find a description on one website but pretty much just says everything I just told you. I will read the first line though. It says, this hat sand factor provides you with the opportunity to adjust the power of this PCP air rifle by means of a three-way adjustable transfer port. Check this out. How you like that? Uh huh. In the back and in the front. Check it out. The preload of the hammer spring is also adjustable. Just to confirm, you guys, it does fit in the case with the scope if I didn't have my bipod on there. So that's good news. Right here is the scope that I use on pretty much every single review I do, mainly because my crappy side shot. If I take it on and off different scopes, it's just a nightmare. But the other reason I use these Hawkeye scopes is because they have an etched reticle. The crosshair is actually etched into the glass, which gives you a finer crosshair than other scopes, which basically use a wire for your crosshair. Plus, the reticle is designed specifically for air guns. Right here, you can see the bottle just comes on and off. Just hand tighten it. Once I took the shroud off, you see the threads on the end of the barrel. They're one half U and F, but the cool thing is that the inside of the shroud has threads on it. It screws onto those threads on the end of your barrel and then against the receiver. There's actually a groove in the receiver that the shroud is going to slip into. Anyway, this gives you a tensioned barrel because it uh, pulls on the barrel. Anyway, it's a, it's a very accurate way to make air gun barrels. So, very nice. The single shot loader that comes with this gun... At first, you're like, what the heck is this? And then when you start using it, you're like, oh, this is a little bit difficult. 
but then once you get it down it's actually quite easy and it's probably one of the most butter smooth single shot loaders that I've ever used it just puts the pellet in there damage free perfectly every time this spanner wrench will get your buttstock on and off but it also doubles as an adjustment tool for your regulator if you're into tuning your gun and all that you guys check this out that weather bug app that I was talking about it's five in the morning but let's see here you see it says three miles an hour wind now when we get down to 8 a.m. two and one mile an hour wind right there you see so basically I'm gonna be shooting between 8 and uh, 10 today we're gonna get some awesome accuracy testing on this Hatsan Factor RC so guys if I want to know what the weather's gonna be doing from day to day check this out my dad told me about this app and then I found that it was already on my phone so it may come with Android so this may already be on your phone but I think it actually it knows where you are you don't have to put in anything in so you don't have to put nothing in it automatically knows where you're at and then it's gonna give you by hour the wind let's just there we go so yeah this is 11 mile an hour wind right now 12 p.m. that's noon so sometimes I'll look on here and then we'll get down to like let's see if we got an example now here's where it says three miles an hour I can go out there and uh, have gusts of zero wind if I got a three or a two on there and a lot of times it'll say zero or I think I think it says one sometimes but anyway I can go and let's just say that oh look at right now it's 8 30 in the morning so it might say at 1 p.m. there's two miles an hour wind okay so I'll just plan my day around shooting at 2 p.m. and that's how we get the most scientific accuracy testing here on Airgun Channel but definitely check out it's called weather bug I really wanted to shoot this gun though just to see what would happen 45 yards away these 18.1 grain FX pellets are supposed to be a touch better than JSB's so I went ahead and did some sniping out my window at 45 yards here's what happened that's ice you guys aiming here this is my first shot with this gun okay straight out of the box FX pellets shot number two okay because I just sighted up to this hole shot number two was right here I thought it was right here okay that was just a piece of stuff but it had gone right on the edge so I couldn't really tell so I said to myself I'll just gonna leave it okay shot number two was right here okay guys then I went over to here and I aimed for this right here okay this is from that window way over here 45 yards away you guys and I was aiming for the middle of this which is very very small smaller than a bullseye and I put it right through there and that's when I said holy crap I can't believe it Sick. I'm shooting 18 grain FX pellets. All right, we are at exactly 45 yards. Oh, I slipped on the trigger, still got it, still counts. Oh my gosh, slipped on the trigger through the bullseye. That's day state territory right there. You guys just annihilated that bullseye 45 yards. going well so far so like I have to try not to get nervous I could just start I could just get nervous all of a sudden and just start just blow this whole freaking scene this whole sequence oh, I slipped on the trigger you guys when I'm all set up in here my backdrop is right there 
Pretty cool, huh? Hell yeah, dude. Watch this, you guys. That's uh, 71 yards out there. Rat on the run target. Major wind. Oh, I slipped on the trigger. That easy. Now watch this. Oh, we got some major wind. Oh, <laughs> hit my trailer on the way. All right, I know right where to aim, you guys. I got my holdover down, so I'm going to aim right here. And that's how you win extreme bench rest in the wind. And watch this, I'll hit that little guy again. Freaking nailed it. 71 yards, you guys. FX 18 grain. That's correct. All right, guys, remember earlier in this video when I said 8 a.m., two and one mile an hour wind right there, you see? So, basically, I'm going to be shooting between 8 and uh, 10 today. We'll check this out. You guys, right on schedule according to my weather app. Zero wind. Pretty awesome, huh, Bugaboo? Hell yeah! So, you guys, let's do some accuracy testing. We're going to start at 35 yards. I brought my hat stand out here just so we could get acclimated to the temperature. These are the best pellets. These are the third best pellets. These are the second best pellets. Okay? And out of, uh, I tested just about all of them. And so, these guys are all going to be uh, awesome groups. Let's just say that. See if I can put them all through the same hole. 35 yards away. All right, you guys, party time. I'm at a full 250 bar. I'm going to be single shot loading FX 18 grain to start with. I'm sighted in for 71 yards. So let's see here. All right. I emailed the airport and asked them not to fly over my house because I was doing a video today, but I guess they didn't check their email. Okay, here we go. I decided not to click right. So that's a one-shot sighting. All right, so I got to click over that hole. One down, two over, and here's our do-over. And I got to click it. All right, now we should be able to hit that hole. Here we go. Yeah, might have clicked a little too far. We'll see. All right, you guys. Unofficial group. It's 35 yards. Well, this is a super teeny bullseye right there. Let's go for a big guy right here. That was technically a slip on the trigger. This trigger's uh, so match grade out of the box. I have hit it accidentally. Probably 25% of my shots yesterday. All right, official group right there, 18.1 grain. Now let's go to the 18.1 grain JSBs. And I am going to want to shoot a few practice groups so I can get the barrel leaded up a little bit. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to fill this back up to 250. <laughs> Same hole, son. Man. The guys were really freaking not believing in this gun. I've been excited about it since I got it, but when I put some pictures on the forums, oh my gosh. There's people that were like, that's a $500 gun. No, guys. This gun's bad ass. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was me, you guys. I think we're sat it in right there. Yeah, we can do this. Let's take out this little teeny Beals eye. If I got anything to aim at. <laughs> I don't have to do a five shot group because we just put three through the same freaking hole, okay? So that's the end of that. Let's uh let's do one of our little tests where we shoot the center out of a bunch of bullseyes. I'm gonna take care of these uh this little gang of bullseyes right here. Okay, cool. All right, now we're gonna do some 15.89 uh, grain JSB Reds. Once again, guys, I haven't even sighted in for these pellets or nothing, so. Oh, righty roo. So guys, I thought that I was shooting the 15 grains on high, but maybe I, I put it down to number two and we'll see, we'll find out. If your pellet's flying too fast, you just bump this down a little bit on one of the dials and you're, you're optimized, baby. All right, we're getting closer, you guys, so I think we gotta just come down. All right, bullseye time. I guarantee it. Oh, no. Yeah, you guys, we're gonna have to turn this down. We're gonna turn this uh, down to number two. But I'll finish out a few more shots on this guy right here. All right, here we go. Hold on. Now we got it. All right. So we just put three through the same hole. Let's see what we can get in the bullseye now. Yep. All right, 15 grain official time. Here we go. We're going to go back to that super teeny tiny half bullseye. The halfer. Oh, I slipped on the trigger, still hit the bullseye. Oh, I totally slipped on that one, but I don't think that was why it didn't go in. Maybe. Did I just have a change in my point of impact? Better not have. All right, you guys, let's do the middle bull of the bullseye trick. All right, I'm gonna hit this guy again. I don't want to leave any wounded. Oh, God. Really? Oh, you know what? My gun wasn't level. There we go. I think I'm past my prime on the regulator. Yeah, it took a little longer to sight in, so I'm gonna fill this boy back up. Yep. Even though something's regulated at 140, or this gun, you know, like, doesn't mean, like, the Red Wolf, it's regulated at probably around that, and my point of impact would change at 196 bar every time, so. Just because something's regulated doesn't mean you gotta shoot it all the way down to the regulator pressure. Let's see where we hit. This is medium power with the 15.89 grain. Felt pretty good. Let's see if this goes through the same hole, you guys. I think it was pretty freaking close. So let me just dial over. And down a little bit. All right, you guys, this is gonna be an official group. I think we're about 240 bar, somewhere around there. Uh, and we're gonna be on medium power. Number two, 15.89 grain JSPs. Let's see if we can get a nice tight group here. Yeah, that must have been what I did yesterday is I must have put it on medium and whooped it up with the 15 grains. There you guys have it. So literally pellet on pellet with the 15.89 grains on medium power. 
And if you guys remember, this was the very first group that we shot with the FX 18.1 grain. JSBs on high power. You guys, I honestly didn't know, and I guessed wrong, so I'm telling you, when you fill your air gun up, this is the gauge you need to look at. Okay, uh, this is your tank. Okay, it's connected to your tank. And the one that's under here, that's your regulator pressure. Okay, so I'm going to finish filling this up. I was looking at the wrong gauge. Look, I, I didn't blow my gun up. All right, 250. And we'll see, this might cool off a little bit. But boy, I've been waiting so long to shoot this. My uh, air compressor went out, and I just got this new one, and it kicks butt. 220, baby. All right, you guys, we've got the same deal, the same three pellets right there. Let's see where we're at. Where are you, buddy? There we go. 51 yards away. Side in right here. We're starting off with 15.89 grain JSBs. That's weird. You know, maybe I was sighted in for 18 grain. That's more like it. All right. All right, we'll sight down to that hole right there. All right, you guys, official 15.89 grain group on number two, 51 yards. Oh, slipper, I slipped on the trigger. told you guys okay the same thing at 50 yards as it does at 35 all right so I'm gonna go back up to uh, high power and we're gonna do some 18.13 grain JSB and then the grand finale we'll do the FX all right you guys back up on power level 3 high power I'm gonna use this dot right here to side in see where we're hitting Smurfic. So, side up to that hole. We should be in business. All right, let's see if I can hit this. I should have left it where it was at. Hold on. I'm not sure where it's gonna hit, but I'm ready for an official 18.13 group. Let's do it right about here. you guys pretty freaking good I mean I could sit here and do another one probably do better but fine we'll do it all right you guys how do you like that I can't see super good but it looks uh through the bullseye to me. All right, so now we're gonna go for our golden pellets, the FX 18.1 grain, which uh, did a little better than the ones we just shot. All right, guys, we're back up at a full 250 bar. I'm gonna do my sighting in on this little guy right here. If we're sighted in, we'll just shoot a group on it. Aim small, miss small. <laughs> Is that the same hole? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go. All right. So 
let's make this official. Official 18.1 grain FX pellet group. Right about meow. God, you guys, that was like one more good shot, and I'll have this sequence nailed. All right. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that one, you guys. Darn it. Very nice, though. Okay, I gotta do that one more time since I screwed that one up. Here we go. Freaking sweet, you guys. Nice little clover leaf one hole group there, 51 yards. Very nice. Me likey. All right, guys, this is just part one of my hat sand factor review. I'm going to go ahead and come back at you with a dedicated long range hat sand factor shooting video as well. We'll shoot some hats off and blow some stuff up. We'll also do a full shot string. My first impression of this gun is. Very, very nice. All I ever wanted was a gun that actually hit where I was pointing it. And this gun fits that bill. I feel for sure that this gun is shooting at the $1,500 to $2,000 category. And it only costs around $1,000. So, great value. Hatsan has been making guns that shoot almost as good as regulated guns with no regulator for years. And now they're adding a regulator. There's no reason to think that their guns can't be capable of great, great things. When I emailed Hatsan a little bit before Christmas, they said they did not have information on whether or not this would be released in the USA. For now though, it is available in Europe. Once again, I bought this with my own money. It was not provided by Hatsan. I think it's an awesome gun, so I may even be holding on to mine. That's how much I like it. This gun's definitely a lot of fun to own and shoot. It shoulders really well. Good balance, even with my scope on there. Of course, I love all the adjustability, although I'm not really going to get into that. But basically, you can fine-tune it for whatever pellet you want to shoot. And as we can see, right out of the box, it's shooting some of the most common pellets very, very well. So I'm very excited about this gun. We'll see what happens at 75 and 100 yard distances, but I am willing to bet that it's going to hold some good groups. Like I said, we'll be back at you with some more Hatsan Factor 22 awesomeness. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I also want to thank all the guys that have been buying through the affiliate links in my video descriptions. I really appreciate that. Had a better than usual month. So looking forward to next year, you guys. FX USA sent me their Helix scope. The reticle on this scope is just outstanding for air gunners. So you combine this with some FX No Limits rings and you would be unstoppable. And we're talking windage and elevation. So we'll do a full review on this bad boy soon. And you guys will get to see what these Helix scopes are all about. Really looking forward to that. So I got it set up for bores right now. Press the B button. Oh, wow, I got a whole herd of them. So thanks again for tuning in, you guys. Everybody stay safe out there. Pretty nifty, eh? Now I can shoot my RX target systems from 150 yards away. Happy shooting. And we'll see you on the next one.